Hi, welcome to a demonstration of the PTT for you service. Basically, this consists of a system where you can use network radios, and network radios are devices that can uh, use the cellular network. Um, so basically, you need to use a regular SIM card that you enter inside your radios, and basically, you use all the cellular infrastru infrastructure, uh, which uh, basically means you will have a full coverage. As far as you have a 3G or 4G slash LTE connection, then you can use our service. So this is the, the, the biggest advantage, the biggest advantage of this um, type of systems, because you no longer have a restriction in terms of range. If you have network covered by the cellular antennas, <clears throat> which is pretty much global at the moment, uh, it means you will be able to talk to each other. And you can have 1,000 radios, 10,000 radios, doesn't matter. Uh, if you have connection, then everybody's going to be listening. So you no longer have these expensive costs with um, having antennas for repeaters, uh, maintenance, installation, paying uh, sites uh, and, uh, and leasing. So... It's you leave all that to the cellular operators, which is um, a big advantage of this. So what I'm going to show you here is just a couple of different handhelds and uh, radios that are available with, to use uh, the PTT for you service. Obvious, obviously, the most of the customers using these are clients that uh, uh, either need to use this in a taxi um, a central. Um, you, you also find lots uh, of construction sites using this type of, uh, of radios, farmers, um, security companies, private security companies. This is the sort of companies that uh, will have advantage in using uh, this system. And many times um, they have uh, very different site locations and uh, it would be very expensive using legacy radio equipment with repeaters and networks and etc so this is a great option okay so <clears throat> this is the talkpod n55 this is known android so this only runs the ptt for you service okay that's all you can do you can program the buttons you can do some uh, basic programming groups and um, list of contacts etc but that's all you can do and you can talk as well. <laughs> this is an Android radio. This is the Enrico T320. And this is a 4G device. Okay. So you can have any other apps besides the PTT for you app. So you can have WhatsApp. You can have uh, <laughs> pretty much everything you can download from the Play Store. Um, and you can even make phone calls because this is a, a cellular phone with uh, a radio app running on it okay the thing is it has a, a dedicated ptt button sos buttons and things related to this uh, service here i have uh, enrico tm7 this one is uh, for mobile use it's very compact and rugged um, very clear and crispy sound it comes with this uh, rugged microphone so this is the ideal to use um, in, a, in a vehicle Okay, on the, on the left side, I have a computer. This is running Windows 10, and this is the dispatch uh, software. Okay, so basically, I can control all the users, I can make private calls, pre uh, I can do uh, group calls, I can even uh, set up a dynamic group with just one or two or whatever, just specific users where I want to have a conversation just with them. So this is pretty much uh, like the dispatch uh, software. So I'm, I'm go going to do an example, for example. I'm going to use this uh, radio here and I'm going to make a call. Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. This is uh, the N55. Okay, so you see that um, it has a slight delay, which is uh, pretty much uh, um, reasonable. It's not... Uh, is less than a second, which is uh, fair enough. Uh, remember that this is all going through the 3G network. This one is working with the SIM card. Um, this one is working with the SIM card as well. 
This one right now is connected to the Wi-Fi network, the local Wi-Fi network I have here in the office, but it can also run with a SIM card. All these radios have SIM cards, okay? This one here, but uh, uh, it, it, although it has a SIM card, it can also work with the Wi-Fi, okay? The, the, the T320. The N55 can only run with a SIM card, okay? So uh, this is it. I mean, now I can uh, I can uh, reply using the dispatch uh, to to the reply. You either click here, which is not probably uh, very comfortable, but you can also use the spacebar uh, key as as a PTT button. You want to see? Let's see. One, two, three. So basically, you, that's the way you reply. Um, let's make here also a try with the with the mobile. Hello, this is Enrico TM7. You get this echo, uh, obviously, because you have all the devices here and uh, they catch the, the audio from each other, so hence the, the delay and the echo you get. Okay, um, now I want to know, for example, where is the location of this uh, T320? I can check here on the map where the station is, okay? So uh, I have a, basically uh, an overview of everybody's location, which can be also very useful. For example, if you're running a taxi company, then you want to see where your cars are at the moment. Another thing you can do, um, and this is very interesting for security reasons, I can press the SOS button and then all stations will know that uh, somebody can be in trouble. So, for example, let's use here the SOS button from the TM7. Now, all radios are saying that there's a, there's a problem with the device and I can see immediately here in the dispatch uh, that the TM7 has some issues going on. So, then I can uh, even make a private call, for example, to the TM7 now, when I transmit, only the TM7 will hear. These, these guys here will not get the call. Hello, TM7. This is Dispatch. Is everything all right? So I only get audio now from the TM7. And I can reply back. Actually, it says here that this is in a temporary group that has been created by the Dispatch. Okay, this was just okay, a test. Everything's, a everything's fine. And I'm going to leave the group now. Sorry, this is not what I wanted. I'm back in the PTT for you group. At any time, you can see who is logged in. Okay, so I see that uh, in the PTT for you group, there is a uh, Duart. Uh, Duart is the dispatch. That's the N55 and the the T320. Okay, so you always know who is connected at uh, any point. There's also an interesting function here. Uh, if somebody's on some specific mission, for example, let's say, let's do it with the N55, okay? I can come here and choose the option Lone Worker Time. This means that if I don't get a callback from this station within, now for the test, let's say one minute, otherwise it would be too long for us to wait. It means that this station must report back uh, in within one minute. If it doesn't, it means that this guy must be in trouble and uh, I want to make sure um, I don't forget about him. So after one minute since I I made the, um, I programmed uh, the lone worker time, I should get an alarm here in the dispatch saying, okay, call that guy because maybe he's in trouble. Okay, you can also send uh, private uh, messages to the radios. For instance, if I want to send, for example, here, I will send a message and I just type it here. Hi there. Let me increase the audio a little bit so you can hear it. Message. Hi there. Ah, maybe, maybe it's a little bit too, too uh, low here for you to listen, but uh, it will just say uh, hi there and uh, whatever you write, it will uh, uses uh, it will use the text to voice uh, feature so you, you know what the dispatch has has sent to you 
Okay, I, I see here. Uh, it says N55 is not active, is not saying anything. And you get here a red alert with with the clock. So I will report back with the N55. Okay, sorry guys, everything's okay, fine. Okay, sorry guys, everything's fine. Okay, and uh, I can come here to the N55 and I can cancel um, this feature because now I know the guys, everything is fine with him. Okay, so um, you might not want to use the dispatch uh, software uh, on the computer uh, and you might want to use it on a different device uh, like, uh, like in this iPad here. So let me just close my computer and I'm going to switch it on. You can see it, right? Okay, so it's a much easier uh, way to, to be in, in, in touch with all your network radios. Um, sometimes you, if you want, for example, to use uh, uh, in an environment where you don't, the, the radio operator is not very familiar with computers or you don't want him to mess up with, with the operating system or whatever, you can just have an iPad like this one, or it runs on, on an Android uh, tablet as well. And there is anything wrong, you can do it here. It's, it's pr pretty much like the software that you use in one of the other devices, okay? And you, you just make the calls uh, pressing the, or tapping the PTT button like this. Hello everyone, this Hello, is the everyone. iPad. And you can reply back, obviously. Hello, one, two, three. Hello, one, two, three. And you always have the the display. The display. You know, display. it's showing who is showing who is talking at at any given mark, uh, at any given moment. You, can, you also have map details. You can see where everyone is. You can track the stations. You can see where had where they have been. And you have this option here, which is fun because it will uh, show who is the, the station calling. Hello, this is the TM7. So basically, uh, you see, there's many different things you can do with this, uh, with this uh, type of radios. There is no limit on the number of users. You can, ha can have 10,000 users with radios and the system will still work the same way. Uh, there are more than 20 servers around the world um, just um, to back up and give uh, good coverage um, if you have uh, lots of users. So uh, feel free to ask any questions or just add any comments or visit the website ptt4u.com and uh, I will be help you, uh, help, happy to, to help you out in setting up your own system. Okay, guys, thank you very much. Bye-bye.